Here's an example from a video, which is kind of a special case, but actually MLA emphasizes that you should be able to cite all kinds of material, including media. Buffy's promised that there's not going to be any incidents like at my old school. So this is a quotation, so we need to know exactly where it came from. And in this case, we go ahead and Buffy is the name put here, Whedon, and then here is the time. But in MLA, the correct way to do this would be not to include the director like we have here, but instead to include the first or second, maybe the first one or two or sometimes three words of the title of the work, and then here to have the exact time. And that includes hour, minute, second, and when is the beginning and when is the end. The so MLA is very uh, different from APA in this approach. In 1988, a federal report observed that the current high level of attention to childcare is directly attributed to the new workforce trends. Now, this is a case where you have a work but that doesn't have an author, but rather comes from an organization, in this case, the government. There is a quote there, so we do need to know exactly where it comes from. So it's on page 147, that's good. However, this here, U.S., U dot S dot, Okay, United States comma. Well, it's, a, it's, hard to, it's hard to explain, but hey, that's just the rule. MLA's rule is when you abbreviate United States, you don't abbreviate it. Rather, you write it out, in this case, United States comma, and then you write out the Department of the Government in full, and then you write the page number on the report that you found the quote from. You just have to know the rule, and that's the rule. The play presents an opposition between, quote, two worlds associated with two lovers. Zender, page 138. Romeo and Juliet's language of love nevertheless becomes fully responsive to the tang of actuality. Zender, page 141. So we have this case where we have Zender twice in the same paragraph. So the way for MLA to handle this is, of course, first of all, very simple name and page number. No comma, nothing special. And then the second time for the second quote, just the page number because we already have the author in the same paragraph. Okay, well, that is a sum up of some examples from MLA. Of course, there are more specific examples where things get even a little bit more complicated, but I think that covers most of the ones you'll commonly see. Again, I love to get my ebook and I have my MLA on the ebook. And every time I have a problem, every time I have a new situation, a combination of authors or a special format like a video, what about a podcast? What about a YouTube video? That's all covered inside of there. If you've got the book, you can check it out quickly. All right, good luck on your citations with MLA.